Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back into Peanut Park to do shine number two, the beach cannon secret. Ironically, we're being shot there from a beach cannon. So, let's get this started. Okay, that was not the sound effect whatsoever. And you'll see that there is one of these mole critters here. Is that a Monty Mole? Quite possibly, but he's shooting up the beach here. And all we have to do is get near. Let's talk to this Noki over here and see what he has to say. Tarnation! Tell him to stop that noise! Why does he have a country accent? I don't know. He's not a hillbilly after all. Out of nowhere, some weird thing took over my place and all these explosives are flying everywhere. Please, you must help me! Don't worry, I'll help you, man. Um, these bullet bills here, you can spray them and you can get coins. This is really easy to do the 100 coin shine later, which I will do use to do the 100 coin shine later because it's that easy but anyway once you get close enough to uh, Monty Mole yeah those purple ones are homing <laughs> once you get close enough he'll start throwing the bombs at you grab them and throw them back at him like that and that's all you have to do to hit him oh I didn't pay attention to that don't worry it only takes three hits to send him back on their ground or at least kill him watch us Okay, that was kind of violent there. I just blew up the mole in his own tank or turret or whatever you want to call it. And go inside, there's a secret zone. Uh, once again, he got robbed. He should know better than this. I mean, every time you go into a secret zone, he should know that the warp portal is going to yield Shadow Mario. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, there's these blocks and... When they turn black, they disappear, and they'll make you fall to your doom, and that's basically the gimmick of this one. You have to time yourself to stay safe on these blocks as best you can, and sometimes you... <laughs> that was so stupid. Sometimes you have to race them, which I'll get to a little bit later in this level, but that was like the dumbest death yet in this walkthrough. Well, well, maybe second dumbest. That cataquack one, where I got stuck in a loop, was pretty bad. <laughs> But anyway, that's in the past. Let's just continue on and try and survive. And... No, no, no. Whoa, no, no, no. I don't think so. Wait, 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 wait. I want to. There we go. Gotta be safe here. Um, you can go all the way to that end here. If I'm not mistaken, there's a one-up if you spray that wall. If I'm not mistaken... <laughs> spray that wall. I don't have the flood. What am I thinking? Um... So let's just go off anyway. Is there a one up inside these crates? I don't remember. There probably is, knowing these special stages. There we go. And these are trampolines here, so just bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. How do I do a spin there? I, I, I never did that before on a trampoline. Anyway, for these, because they're very, very tightly timed, you have to slide across them like this. Sliding's always faster than running, so take advantage of that. The one up ahead has got a bend, though, so you gotta really race this one. And turn, like, jump to get yourself back on track, and then turn, and... Yeah! There we go. There's your shine. No problem. And the next one is Red Coins of the Pirate Ship, Episode 3, also known as Shine 3. Who would have guessed? Well, you know, Shine 3 on my menu thingy here. So let's get that started. And as the name suggests, there's Red Coins on the Pirate Ships. But surprisingly, there's only four on the Pirate Ships for some odd reason. I don't know why. The rest of them are up in the air. Um... So, as you can see, there's one red coin right there at the start. You just have to go right over to this little stairway here. Not stairs, just some stairs. And here's the first red coin right there. The second one you want to get is way up there. And, oh, this is gonna... That flipped a lot more than I expected it to in the first, on the first run there. I guess it uh, flips a lot faster than I thought it did. So let's just wait for it to do... Uh, there's 
want it to go nice and slow so I have a chance at getting it. I don't want it to do the whole flip 360 thing, and that's probably what it's going to do next. I'll just try and get on the pirate ship and try and attempt. There we go. And it's going to do a full 360 flip there. Where is the next one? I think it's on the second pirate ship. Yeah, yeah, it's way over there. So what I'm going to do is jump on this pirate ship and get onto... Well, hey, what the heck? I thought you could just jump on there like that from that side. Well, I guess not. Let's try it again, I guess. Oh, yes, I do know that there is a uh, blue coin in there before someone asks or someone mentions it. But as I said, I'm getting blue coins later. I was going to try and spin jump to stay in mid-air there. Grrr. Maybe I'm better off just getting those uh, red coins right from the top. You know, starting off from the top and just jumping down from it. Because it's really easy to get up to the top portion of this area. Now, let's just see if I can. There we go. Mario, stay on it, please. Thank you. Really bad camera angle in this part of the town here. There we go. And now, I'll let you got those. Go over to the... Whoa! whoa. Go over to this walkway. And see these electrical guys? Just ground pound them from the other side or slap the cage from the other side if you're hanging onto the cage to make them fall off and die. And just flip that around by doing a ground pound. There's coin number four. I'm pretty sure I can get coin number five by... By flipping off to... Yeah, I just said flipping off. Someone's gonna make a... Whoa! Make a reference to that. Is there a blue... That's oh, a red coin. I want that, that's for sure. Give me... There we go. And that means I can also throw myself right in there. Ooh, red coin's right up there. Do not accidentally get the blue coin. Eee! I think... Wait, let me... Curse this camera angle. There we go. <laughs> And now I'll climb up here to get this coin. Now, the other ones are along the walkway, which you can just get by going right under here, and then just climbing up here, just flipping these guys right... Oh, I didn't mean to jump off! Uh, another way that you can get on top of that scaffolding is just to go over to this part here. There's just like a little pathway that winds up to this hut here. And then spin jump, then hover over to this area right here, and you'll be back right where you came from before you ever fall off. No problem whatsoever. But anyway, remember the controls this time, PK Gam. Jump is to slap from the under underside. It's different than when you're hanging out from the side. I just killed these guys, and there's coin number seven right there. I, I'm gonna kill him right off right away, because there's coin number eight up there. I, I just want to clear the way, so I don't have any trouble getting up there. Otherwise, I have to jump and hover around them, and blah. Yeah, you get the idea. And... All you have to do from here is just go right up this great, well, not great, scaffolding, whatever, and there's coin number eight, and this shine appears right up here. Isn't that convenient? Yeah, I kind of had the path set up ahead of time. And there's the shine. And the next shine is episode four, The Wilted Sunflowers. And you're gonna see something special in this one here. You'll notice that there's some what seems to be like sleeping Yoshi eggs. And those sunflowers that we've seen in episode 2 are now, as the title suggests, Wilted. Let's see what he has to say about this. What you, oh no, the Yoshis! They, are they really doing this, or have they been framed? I guess we shall soon see. Anyway, the most of these things right here, what you have to do to wake them up is ground pound them, if I'm not mistaken. Why don't you just have to ground pound them? Or do you have to just... Oh, it's spraying them, okay. Spray them until they wake up. And it's not a Yoshi... <coughs> Excuse me, after all. Sorry for that, I blame my mucus. Now you gotta wait for this guy to do his jump thing and get him to land in the sand. It won't work if you do it in the grass and he'll flip upside down and he'll get stuck in the sand. And one of those little flower cutie thingies will reappear. Don't do that! I want to get rid of you so you hurt my... You have to... You can actually stop on the... Oh, I'm thinking too much of Super Mario World lately. I've been playing too many of the, the, the Mario hacks. And man, that is one angry turtle thing. So anyway, you come over here to the beach, try and jump on me, there you go, and ground pound the belly. And that'll save yet another sunflower. Let's try and get another one up before the sunflower pops back into life. And I think I was successful there. 
Come on, follow me into the sand. Come on. You can slam into the flowers if you want to. It's still into the sand. And there's another one. Yeah, this is basically all this mission is. is all you have to do is just kill these turtle-like critters. Oh, isn't that adorable? And we are saving them all. Come on, follow me over here. Yeah, not in the grass. Because if you stomp in the grass, you won't get stuck on your back. Come on, this is a good spot. You can do it. There you go. Flip and stop. <clears throat> One more over here. And it's by Mama Flower over there. It looks like I just unearthed it uh, while well, that cutscene happened there, which is pretty cool. Come on, come on. Do your flippy flip. There we go. You're stuck. So you're dead. And that's all there is to this mission. Woo! Happy day! Grab the shine and get out of here. That's all you needed to do, really. Pretty easy. Woo! Oh, I just remembered something. Um, after you do this one, a special event will occur. Uh, Shadow Mario will appear in Delfino Plaza with an egg. Oh, there he is! But this appears to be a normal egg, and that pipe appears to be plugged up with a pineapple. That is one huge pineapple, I have to say. Well, anyway, I have to go save that egg, so let's... Ow. Let's just go do that right now, and... Wait, you have to say Toltsworth. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. That's, that's his voice. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And that's really all there is to it. And all the Toads will be all panicky, even after you rescue Peach for some reason that I know of. I don't know why, but anyway, let's just go over to here and meet up with Shadow Mario and spray him down for the egg! You should know how to do this by now. It's just like when I had to rescue Peach. This is not hard to do whatsoever. And look how slow he goes because he's carrying that egg. And I did Wait, I lost him. Curses! I hear the music. Oh, there he is. Spray, 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 spray! You're going down, Shadow Mario! You're going down! Oh yeah! Feel the pain of my water gun! Kind of like Pokemon, actually. And he was just about to ride that Yoshi, too? Wait, what? A Yoshi? You're kidding me! No! Yoshi couldn't be in this game, could it? Well, this egg seems to want a banana, so let's give it a banana. You'll see down here there's some fruit stands. Find the correct fruit. Peppers. Is that, is that even a fruit? Jalapeno peppers? Anyway, grab a banana from it, and I'm just gonna flip right back up to there. And... Yoshi! You are in here! Oh, how I've missed you so! And this is what I needed to coins in a lot of the uh, levels in this game. So that's why I was this is what I was waiting for to unlock so I could do them. Uh, basically Yoshi controls our our button. Shoot juice like water. Yes, I know it looks like vomit. Ew. 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 And basically his controls are exactly the same, except he's got a flutter jump thing, you'll you see that? Like he's got the little flutter kick there, that's a signature thing. Everything else is pretty much the same as Mario. Um, watch us, watch us, spin, vomit, oh shoot, I, I didn't mean to go up on the tree. Vomit sprinkler, woo! <laughs> that is so awesome. But there's, there's one very strange thing about Yoshi that I just don't get. He's water soluble. If you ever go into the water with Yoshi, he dissolves. Yeah, I don't get it, but that's Yoshi's weakness, I guess. Um, you'll notice that his juice thing was also going down as you went, but you can refill that just by eating fruit along the way. And that's really all I think I'm going to have time for in this part, so I'm just going to end it off here. I'll see you in the next part when I continue on Peanut Park. Toodaloo! Hope you enjoyed.